Hello, everyone. This is Elijah Ignatiu from the School of Conscious Communication, and I'm bringing to you today Dharmendra, one of our first originators. And he has come up with something he calls accelerated collective evolution. And uh, I have been working with Dharmendra with a project with the Lucille Foundation for almost the last year. And so I've had enough time to understand what he is holding and the value of it. And I can swear a, a deep testimonial that Dharmendra has information that is going to actually transform our species. He's at a level of a planetary avatar where the codes coming through him are for everybody. And they are in such a, a way that right now the world is about to meet Dharmendra. And I'm, I'm very blessed to be someone who is introducing the world to you, Dharmendra. And so my first question to you is, what exactly is accelerated collective evolution? That's a good question. Thank you, Elijah. <laughs> It evolved out of my own spiritual awakening, which occurred in uh, August of 1993 in Centro Dompio in Italy, um, where I was a handyman slash Tai Chi teacher. And having spent uh, several de decades with the enlightened master Osho, um, something finally occurred in all of the effort I put into all the years of meditation that gave me a breakthrough and access to information that is all around us uh, and within us all the time, but we have never been taught how to access it. And for me, it wasn't that I needed to learn anything. I was just immediately hooked into that. And once that became possible, I realized uh, that there is a way to accelerate our evolution, um, especially in group scenarios. That's where I became first proficient at it by working with circles of people and starting to uh, move into what was what was I, because people humanity is suffering deeply on so many levels everywhere you look it's just obvious and i won't go into the whole reason the powers that be blah 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 blah. that's not what this is about but that is the truth and so i would start to go in and ask people what what it is and to bring that out and i would always share mine first i'd always say what my suffering is and then uh what I found is that once that was off the chest, we could look into the vision and share a vision. Well, what is your vision? What does your heart want? What do you truly want if the suffering is no longer ruling your life? And then uh, once that was brought out, uh, then we would ask, we would open to existence and, and, and kind of just surrender to the whole and ask for a reflection of this vision from the, from the source, from any uh higher you know any kind of higher consciousness fields that are tuned into this and there are many uh and that gets revealed the more you do work with me um that that does exist and we can tap into that and so those are the three basic stages uh you could call it challenge or issue vision and then higher self perspective because it is our higher self we tap into when we tap into higher frequencies and that's putting it in a nutshell so what exactly is a higher consciousness field? Um, little do we know that everything growing on planet Earth, um, every geological formation, every grouping of species of, an, of sentient life, uh, and prior to sentient life, we have, uh, we have um, vegetation, which is not sentient yet because there's no brain system. And so plants, contrary to popular opinion, do not feel pain because they have no brain system. You need a brain system to process pain, to be aware that you have pain going on. So anyway, just a, a small thing. But every single one of those strata of life, including us, up to us human beings, is, uh, is ministered by higher intelligence. Um, in terms of uh, everything, everything, I'll just go into the human, why we have certain trends at certain times, why things are popular, why certain humans are chosen to be stars. That's all monitored by higher consciousness. We think it's, we think it's just happening. That would be such a naive point of view. Every single thing that's happening on this planet, there are actually 12 different dimensions, major over overlooking dimensions that are ruled by higher consciousness that man that that monitor and minister to every single dimension of human life on this planet uh and and what's even more interesting i'll throw in a little twist here uh when it comes to how we're conditioned to act in the sense of unconscious slow long evolutionary processes according to human design there's actually 16 
different global orchestration directories that monitor everything in human life. But that's just at the level of, you know, the senses when it comes to, to, to the actual progression of um, higher consciousness and all that. It's, it's, there's a different way that's monitored. Um, I won't go too deeply into that, but everywhere you look at everything we do, um, everything that's on the media, it's all, it's all monitored. It's all monitored, it's all uh, promoted, it's all enhanced, not just by the planetary and solar energies. Those are, those are just raw energies that are utilized by higher consciousness to, to literally program and organize the way we and all forms of life and even down to the geological formations and all of it is manifesting. So you're using three different human modalities to sort of uh, bring together your teachings, right? Your uh, the human design, Gene Keys, and Tai Chi. That is specifically for the Synergy Awakening Codes, which is, um, I guess you could say it is one of the central um, transmissions I work with in Accelerated Collective Evolution because I'm not, I'm not also having... Um, the necessity to be limited by those but that it is a nice way and an easy communication modality for people to begin to um, start to go beyond the surface of their life experience and actually look into what makes them tick and why they do what they do and say what they say and hear what they hear and feel what they feel and intend what they intend and all these different things um it is precisely because of the genetic imprinting that occurs through you know as the astrological influences that we are deeply immersed in at all times but there is one factor that um, isn't actually mentioned a whole lot and that is consciousness and what happens when you start to do things like tai chi or something too intentionally um improve the physical condition of your life and then all of a sudden it starts to work on your character and then it starts to work on the depth of your consciousness and what you're aware of internally externally how you exchange energies with others um, and the three work very well together and uh, so to take uh that understanding of tai chi which tai chi style called the chen family tai chi style is based on the I Ching, which also the gene keys and human design are based on so the root is I Ching for all three and I, the way i look at it human design is probably the most incredible uh intellectual knowledge that i've ever come across and it's based on reality so it's amazing in that way gene keys is probably the most incredible I would say heart centered because it gives the whole spectrum of consciousness and that that spectrum um, is a holographic potential in the human heart and not just the human heart but the human what the human heart really implies in terms of its energy field and its impact on all of us as physical beings as thinking beings and then the tai chi for me is the action it's the way you can actually do it and express it in action in the doing so, so for me, it's like human design is, is to see into a whole way that we just have never known it. And it's what is behind everything and making everything tick. It's how we're programmed. And then the, the feeling level, the, the gene keys, and then the doing is the Tai Chi. So yeah, it's a very beautiful way of, of beginning to enter the path of your own self-discovery and, and, and where that takes you, which ultimately is everything, will take you into everything. But it starts with you.